Hello, listeners. This is your host, Eric Espinosa, and welcome to Brains Bite Back. Did you know more than 78 million people are employed in hourly jobs in the U.S.? And that hourly workers make up more than 55% of the workforce across the country. From hospitality to healthcare, these are the people that work in a variety of critical industries that we rely on every day. And these jobs are beginning to outpace salaried positions. But the caveat is that the turnover rate is high. So on this episode, we sit down with John Puckett, CEO of Cadian, a talent acquisition team focused on streamlining and elevating the hourly hiring process for companies of all sizes, leveraging tools to connect employers with the best employee in the job. Hi, my name is John Puckett. I am the CEO at Cadient. John, thank you for joining us on this episode of Brains Bite Back. I wanted to start the conversation by getting some insight in your journey. I understand that you started in the video industry and now you're the CEO of a talent acquisition company. Can you tell us more about your career journey and how you gravitated towards uh, the talent acquisition field? Sure. Yeah, I, I actually started uh, in the video industry back in the 90s and date myself a little bit here. Uh, and I worked in various roles at one of the large national uh, video chains. But my primary role there uh, for most of my time was was new store openings, which included everything from the build out to actually hiring and training of the staff. Upon kind of the consolidation and the downfall of the uh, the video industry, I decided to look for other opportunities, and and I heard about this company in Portland that um, had a product that or a solution that assisted hourly hiring managers with their processes. And I, you know, being familiar with the struggles that I dealt with, I thought that was an interesting opportunity to learn more about the company. Um, so. Ended up getting an interview and during the interview process, uh, learned that they had landed actually a new client with the second largest video chain in the nation at the time. And uh, they had ultimately hired me as an account manager for that account. Um, I was only in that role for about six months. And I had kind of recognized that there was an opportunity where we needed to develop an actual support organization in this really rapidly growing business at the time. And so I ended up moving into a role where I helped develop a support team, which ultimately evolved into a customer success organization years later. And, you know, since then I've had various roles uh, within the organization, mostly uh, focused on customer success and operations primarily. And then, uh, you know, after the basis vectors acquisition, Ambrish approached me about the opportunity. And, uh, you know, I was very willing to uh, utilize my experience uh, in, in, you know, years we were working with this solution and take on this new role to really try to grow the Cadian organization again. So for the young people out there that don't know what videos are, they're, <laughs> <Fair. laughs> yeah, they're like these break type items that would play video that you know as maybe Screaming YouTube today. or TikTok. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how's it been? I dated myself there. <laughs> how, so how has it been? I imagine this has been the last five months you've been in this role as the CEO. What, what did you do that was so instrumental? What caught their attention? Um, in, in terms of you trying to make the company move forward that they actually brought you on as the CEO? Well, I think, you know, we've had a lot of success on the customer success side of the business. And and, uh, and then my additional experience in the operations area, I think just lended to with all the changes that were happening during the acquisition to uh, me being the right fit uh, for taking on this role. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It must be exciting. It is, it is. So what are the, some of the key challenges, I guess, going forward in this role that you're looking to solve, um, provide solutions for, for people in the talent acquisition field? Yeah. Um, well, I'll start off by saying, I guess, you know, ultimately hiring, hourly hiring specifically is hard. And our goal is to simplify it. So we offer many different features that, you know, with standard within our solution, um, that uh, even though we offer both a centralized 
option, uh, hiring option, we primarily do focus on companies with large distributed hourly hiring needs. So um, we offer things like quick apply, applicant pooling, which allows uh, locations to uh, share applicants or candidates within a specific mile radius. Uh, we have texting solutions, which is really proven to reduce time to hire, uh, especially when just compared to email communications today. Um, we provide analytic tools that help HR leaders understand how their processes are working and you know what they need to do differently or adjust and change. But um, you know, one of the biggest challenges is you know attrition in the hourly hiring market is alarmingly high. And Cadian's ATS is uh, enriched with a new pro newer product called Smart Tenure uh, Technology, which actually foresees candidate longevity and um, thereby sort of it will reduce uh, turnover uh, while mitigating bias from the application process. And do you work with companies of different sizes, I imagine, small, large? Yes, we we work with small market uh, companies, mid market, and enterprise. What would you say would be the industry that you work with most, the closely? Uh, cl closely, I imagine it it's industries that have mostly t higher turnover rates. Yeah, I mean we we're not exclusively working with, but we do work pretty heavily with retail, healthcare, uh, hospitality, manufacturing, and government agencies. Yeah, I see hospitality has one of the highest. I, I saw a number here. It says average turnover rate. Uh, this is numbers for 2023. And it said 79% for leisure and hospitality. Yeah. Which seems to be pretty high. Yeah, it's a it's a huge problem and, and one that we're definitely looking to try to help and address. So how does how does the application work in terms of trying to find really good quality um, applicants for these people. So they, you could probably like, you, you know, in the mixes, there's all these people, these, all these applications coming in. How do you identify which ones are actually worth, worth looking yeah. into? So, you know, we offer tools like availability matching, employee referral solutions, um, recruiting, recruitment, marketing, job board integrations. Um, we offer career site branding and consulting uh, realistic job video previews, uh, and as I mentioned before, applicant pooling, um, and then obviously our tenure, uh, our smart tenure product, uh, also that, you know, it, again, helps identify applicants that are likely to remain on the job, thus reducing turnover, saving customers lots of money. But it's a combination of all these different things that really help us identify the best quality candidates for our customers. And, and it does take multiple different data points to really make sure you're getting the right hire. Well, I imagine it's very technology driven in order for you to provide those metrics. And I was chatting with you a little bit earlier about this because I wanted to see whether or not AI is used in your technology to, you know, to help um, these companies or guide these companies or provide any kind of you know, help in the process. But you mentioned that you have a different term for it specifically. <laughs> yeah, we prefer to call it augmented intelligence. Um, and simply because we're not removing the human aspect of the hiring process, but rather we're augmenting it with some new technology to assist hiring managers. I think that's super important. I think there's a lot of people that feel that there's that disconnect, especially with HR hiring processes. AI is stepping in to help you know, make it more efficient, but at the same time, we don't want to lose that human aspect, human connection uh, that that's needed in the process. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, smart tenure is, is a tool that uses augmented intelligence, machine learning to really help identify those and create a model that uses characteristics of the company's best employees for a particular job. So through algorithms specific to the industry and the job positions, um, it can automatically and yeah, instantaneously evaluate the applicants and then display a, a ranking of those applicants in the ATS for the hiring, to, to give those hiring managers just another data point that they can use in selecting the right candidates. And you know, uh, I, we think that that's critical 
and the challenges that a lot of companies are facing today with attrition. But we're also working on additional products to add to our smart tool lineup that are going to continue to evolve as well. So more when on you, that when, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When you get clients that approach you about the software, what are the main questions that come to mind? Are there, are there any key concerns that they have, maybe hesitations in, in using the technology at first that they may find a little bit intimidating? Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the some of the main points that we we hear is, you know, again, because we're focused on distributed hourly hiring, it's got to be an intuitive product that's easy for the field managers to use and able to provide um, information and analytics back to them, which we have analytics tools available to the hiring managers as well to understand again, you know, how are things working? Am I, you know, how is my hiring going? Uh, and and so it's really that ease of use uh, and that because it's a distributed hiring uh, tool where you've got managers across the entire nation that are that are trying to utilize this tool to to help their specific locations ensure they get the right hires. So you've worked very closely on the client service side. Absolutely. Is there a memorable moment or a connection or something that you did for a client that kind of sticks out that made you feel kind of proud? <laughs> oh gosh. That's Sorry to put you on the spot, question. right? But <laughs> that's a, no, that's a good question. Um, I mean, you know, it's I, I I won't say specific names, but again, we work with a lot of of large retailers and um Something that, you know, it's not any specific thing that we did, but feedback that we've received from a specific, you know, from a, a, a national large retailer is that, you know, what we do on the hourly distributed hiring side of their business is um, unmatched by what else, anything else they've seen in the market. And they have been with us for many years, but also have indicated that you know, they have no intention of leaving, even though they've looked at other solutions. Um, there's there's nothing that provides what they need specific to their business and how they need to operate in, uh, you know, retail setting where turnover is high, getting, getting quality applicants is a challenge. And just knowing that we, that that's how they feel about what we provide has gives me a lot of pride in what Katie is doing. That has to be one of the most rewarding Absolutely. things on the job, right? It, yeah, it's always great to hear those stories. It really is. And it's it's great to know that what you're doing is is actually changing things for the better. So what's in the pipeline for Katie in the near future? <laughs> Are there any big plans? Are there any big changes, any shifts, any new technology, any anything that we should know about? You know, I, as I mentioned, I think, you know, there, you're going to see uh, definitely additional development in our smart tool lineup. And I think that we're going to continue to utilize uh, opportunities to use that augmented intelligence to try to continue to address challenges that we uh, we feel our customers are going to be facing or are facing today. So definitely more to come in that area. Amazing. Yep. John, thank you again so much for joining us. Uh, that Absolutely. was great insight. I really appreciate um, hearing more about you know this industry because we, we don't hear much about it. Yeah, I really appreciate you having me on today. It's, a, it's been great and uh, yeah, wonderful experience. That's a wrap for today's episode. If you've benefited from what you've learned today, feel free to leave us a review on iTunes. You can also find all our past and future episodes on YouTube and Spotify under Brains Bite Back. And if you'd like to connect with us directly, you can always reach out to us by email at info at sociable.co. Remember, your feedback helps us grow. We welcome it. We appreciate you joining us. Until next time.